of Air Mobility is a Los Angeles-based regional air mobility platform expanding the category of regional air travel to reinvent flying through electrification. So with me is the CEO, Stan Little, and founder, Sudin Shahani, um, to explain the company. And congratulations on your recent listing here Thank at you, the Jane. New York Stock Exchange. Great to be so, back at the exchange. Yeah. So tell me about Surfair. What is it that the company does? So we're a regional air mobility platform that provides both on-demand and scheduled air service to about a half million passengers a year. And we're making electric airplanes. So it will be within the next three years or so that we'll be flying these passengers point to point, not through major hubs, on electric aircraft. Okay, who are your main customers, would you say? You know, that's the great thing about what we do. We're an affordable platform, so this is not taking the top two or three percent like okay. most charter has traditionally mm. been. This is, this is for everybody. Okay. Uh, we have tickets that range from $99 on up. Yeah. Okay. So leisure and business and everything. Leisure so, and business, yeah. whatever you, yeah. whatever your needs are, regionally. Okay. Got it. So, uh, so electric planes. Why? Why does that matter? So, Jane. Most importantly, I think if you can make smaller planes electric, you make them affordable to a much bigger audience. Uh, unlike cars, with planes, electrification actually reduces cost, which creates a lot more opportunity for it, a lot more routes. You know, here in the U.S. alone, we have 5,000 airports that smaller planes can use, where in contrast, airlines use 30 airports for close to 70% of their traffic. So smaller, more affordable aircraft and bringing the cost per seat of small planes down to a similar cost per seat, ideally as large planes today, creates the opportunity to build a huge regional transport network. Yeah, uh, interesting because there are a lot of these smaller airports, as you mentioned, a lot of the bigger airlines are kind of abandoning them, so they're there and ready to go. Will you need pilots? Well, absolutely we'll need pilots. Okay. We're, not, we're not talking <laughs> about not unmanned aircraft. Yet. We're not okay. autonomous. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and, you know, there's a lot of talk right now about the pilot shortage that's, right, that's right, out yeah. there. But we are one of the largest creators of pilots in the country rather than a consumer of pilots. Mm. So we bring in a new class of pilots every single month. Uh, we train pilots. We then graduate pilots from us up to the major carriers. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And what about uh, the like VTOL has gotten a lot of an E VTOL, like vertical takeoff and landing vehicles. Um, how do you fit into that ecosystem and electric drones and, and like everything we're seeing, it's very innovative space right now. So mm -hmm. if you look at what we're doing, we're doing something that we're focused on speed to market and being able to make the biggest impact in the shortest amount of time. So we're actually taking existing aircraft types, fixed wing aircraft, the first one being an airplane called the Cessna Caravan and creating electrified powertrains for it, both an electric version and a hybrid electric version. The importance of the hybrid electric version is you won't actually need charging stations on the ground. Uh, and we'll be able to deploy it across our existing fleet today. Uh, EVTOL, uh, vertical takeoff and landing, essentially electric helicopters, is really interesting and compelling technology. It likely has a longer path to market because you have to create a whole new aircraft as opposed to just a new powertrain. And also to make those aircraft commercially viable and to deploy them at scale, there's a lot of infrastructure on the ground that needs to be established. Um, they're largely focused on urban air mobility, kind of 50 miles and less broadly. Um, we're focused on regional, where all of the airports exist, mm -hmm. the airplanes exist that you can convert over to electric and reduce cost. Uh, and there are routes that people are already flying today. Yeah. Well, best of luck. So interesting to hear about the company and all the innovation really is going on in this industry. So it's it really is a ahead. lot of changes coming yeah. up ahead, and we want to be the first movers. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, Jane. Yeah, thank you, Jane. Uh -huh.